We all know why we're here. The fans out there, they've come here to see you. And they want it more than you do. We're not getting the goals. We're not getting the crosses. We're not doing the shots. Where's the hunger? Where's the passion? Where's the drive? You are making the opposition look like Lionel Messi. Don't you look at me like that. You can't mark him. You can't tackle him. You can't do anything. It's a game of one half. Inside you right now, there's a fire. Get your heads in the game. I know you've got it in the tank, so start showing it to me. You've got to show me something else. Do we want to win the Gfinity Elite Series? Yes? Well, do you? Well, go out there and do it. Hello and welcome to the Gfinity Arena. There is, a, there is a smell of engine oil in the air which can mean only one thing. Time for Rocket League. Every Saturday we have four top flight matches on this wonderful stage. And already today we've had goals and gaffes, boosts and bar hits, triumph and disaster. And here is the story so far. Mommy Snow will carry it into the net. Flores takes the pass from Data. He will take advantage. Prophecy two and one up. Data, the opening goal, a beautiful shot off. And Prophecy will take the win. Oh, that's more like it. Game one. One nil method. Rebound from Doomsy. This shouldn't be happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all he's got the goal. The two one to method. Method have shown up and have taken down and fused. One endpoint. Oh, Cherry! Oh, oh. Five seconds remaining. Endpoint. Get the 3 0 sweep over Team Envious. So here we are then, week three of the Gfinity Elite Series. We had our first match, Prophecy and Epsilon. It was a 3 0 win for Prophecy. That means three in a row for them. Team Infused uh, losing to Method, their B squad. And then Endpoint. Managed to get that 3-0 win over Team MVS. And I tell you what, their season has started. Now, I am delighted to say that I've got Gregan uh, to my right, and I've also got the main man, uh, Shogun, to my left. We will give you all of those stats again just in a minute. Now, gentlemen, I'm looking forward to an exciting afternoon. We can start walking slowly, though. Don't go too fast, like the players, because this That's is a dangerous is moment. It's terrifying. You will see them later on try and decipher down the stairs and not fall. Do you know what? No one's ever fallen. Um, now, got team members here, got casters to introduce you to you in a moment, but also I've got Ariel Free backstage. What's the story? Well, I'm feeling very privileged, Tom, because this is the prestigious Players Tunnel. I've never gone down it because it's for players only, but watch this. Oh, I'm joking. I'm only joking. Here they are waiting. Come on, guys. Give me some fist bumps, high fives. They're ready. The nerves are simmering in the air. The tension. I mean, I'm high-fiving them and they're fist pumping me. It's all worked wonderfully, uh, but very exciting. They're ready for this last game of the day. Let's do this, Tom. Thank you very much, uh, Ariel. Look at, look at her go. Look at that. No applause. No applause. Oh, what? Oh, that is cheeky. You got moves. Wasted backstage. We need to see more of Ariel uh, out here. Listen, so Reason Excel, notable last season for their absence from the business end of the season. Neither really troubled the scores. And for Reason in particular, it was a campaign to forget. But in season two, they're a team reborn. Reason, who should be a lot stronger from season two. Beautiful pass. Oh, that's dangerous. That's it, cross it. It's going to be Burrito Beef. And he finds the back of the net. It's going to be Reason Gaming. Not dropping a game yet. Reason are looking like an approved team. I just don't think they're strong enough to beat the current reigning champions. Burrito getting the first goal. <laughs> Phenomenal stuff by the young man. Like a book, gets the center. Burrito B is there. Burrito B shows us how it's done. Triumph over in point three to two. So here we are then, last match of the day, an exciting one, Excel versus Reason. Let's look at that Reason lineup. Give me one good why they are performing better this season. 
roster shuffle. Burrito B coming in, and then we've got Tigre today. Uh, speed last week. They've improved this roster hugely. Rick's one day the only consistent player from last season. They've been practicing loads, doing really well in online Gfinity competitions, taking down the likes of Gale Force and many other really strong RLCS teams in midweek competitions. They've taken down Excel in the past, I believe. And now they're here in Gfinity looking to perform. Yeah, indeed. And that bar, uh, Burrito B, real name Boris Piper, sounds like a potato. Uh, Morris Piper, has he got the potatoes to get the win today, in your opinion, Shogun? I mean, can't really argue against this right now. I came back this week and everyone was turning around to me just going, Reason Gaming are currently 2-0, and which shocked me because we didn't see anything like what they are doing this season last time around. But... Obviously, there is an off-season, as Greg mentioned. That roster shuffle is working out well for them. It is indeed. And they'll be looking to get that three wins in a row. Which um, Could we even fathom that from Season 1, that they'd be, we'd be saying three wins in a row? Uh, but we uh, are going to see them up against an XL team. Um, obviously, finished sixth in the RLCS uh, qualifiers, I believe, and they didn't quite make it. Yeah. Um, they've got a point to prove today, haven't they? Yeah, they improved hugely. Changing and Pwned X for Lunation. Both these teams underperformed last season. Didn't get as many wins as they would have hoped to. This season, just a few small changes really has made a difference. Pondex, one of the best players in Europe, one of the best pickups they could have got, and he's now there really filling in brilliantly around Niels and Zentus and in fact accentuating their abilities. Oh, I like the word accentuating. Uh, he does. That is what Pondex does. He accentuates the other two players. Uh, Niels Cook uh, needed some sort of backup, and, and now he's got that in, uh, in Pondex, hasn't he? It's Dragon. perfect, really. I mean, Excel definitely sort of forms together like a typical North American squad where you've got Pondex, who's sort of been held back a little bit in terms of he's holding himself towards the goal line a lot more. Zentis is the sub guy and Niels Cook is, as he always is, the one taking the shots. Now, that has its good and bad points, though. If they struggle to find the ball and they struggle to set up Niels Cook, the team collapses and it doesn't work out anymore. So for Reason Gaming, it's going to be up to them to pressure and not give Niels Cook those opportunities. OK, well, the facts have been laid out for us. Thank you very much for that, gentlemen. I'll tell you now, what we need to do now is welcome out the players for the final match of the day. For reason, it's Rick's Ronde, Tigre and Burrito B. And for XL, you've got Pondex, Niels Cook and Zenzus. <laughs> They're all coming out right now. They're excited to join us in the arena. These guys are just about ready. Don't go anywhere. We've got the live match between two unbeaten teams in just a couple of minutes as someone's O has to go. Look at the smiles on their faces. Niels Cook, no smile. Yeah, there was a smile there. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gfinity Arena. Here I am with Gregan and Shogun. Um, gentlemen, uh, we've got a juicy little contest here. We saw them come out to the arena. They, they look ready, they look pumped for it, quite smiley. A uh, little bit of banter going on from uh, Rick's Ronde, but bearing that all in mind and what you know from previous results, who are you going to predict to get the win today? Do you want to go first? I, mean, I know where you're I going. I feel like we're both going to go this way, although... Okay, you know what, just go for you this. You both go the same way? Okay, I, well, that's fine. Uh, for this, yeah. We'll, that, that's can, a joke we, for another time. I'm going to go for Excel on this Excel. one. I've okay. been following them all season long and they look solid right now. I'm ready for an upset. Reason Gaming, you're going to upset the expected winner that is Excel. Are you going to be upset as in like you'll cry? Because I don't want that, Greg. No, I won't cry. Okay. I'll be happy. I'll be joyous with the upset. Beautiful. Listen, we got the predictions there from Shogun and Gregan. I come over here, a little uh, fist bump. Why not? It seems appropriate. It I won't do an Ariel and go for a handshake oh, or a no. high five. Oh, it was well, awkward, wasn't it? We were hoping no one noticed. I was watching. Ooh. I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to look. <laughs> anyway, I know she's going to tell me off for that. Um, listen, oh, no. uh, Johnny Boy, what do you reckon for this? Gregan reckons bold. it's going to be a, an upset. That's bold by Gregan. That's yeah. bold. I, I don't know. I think Excel are going to be too good. Uh, I think Reason could take a game, but I don't, I don't think it's going to go to five. Probably 3-1 Excel. Maybe even 3-0. Okay, well, we know the Tin Man uh, doesn't have mm -hmm. a heart, but I want you to follow your heart now, Cole. You, you want me to you follow my head? No, I want you to follow your heart. Oh, my, you don't want me to follow my heart? Yeah, I want you to follow your heart. Oh, Who in that reckon? case, reason, easy, 3-0. Okay. Steamroll through. Okay, and your head saying? <laughs> sort of the opposite, a little okay. bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. I predict this is going to be a... Both teams are going to get a game, at least. Um, I think it's going to be 3-1 as well to XL. OK, and I'm loving all the players who have now joined us in the Gfinity Arena, so I know this is going to go off. It's the last match of week three. Gentlemen, I'll leave it in your capable hands. I'm excited for this one. We've got Excel back at it again. They're yeah. a new, improved Excel, but also new, improved reason. These are the two teams that finished bottom of the standings last season, and now they're battling for the top spot. One of these teams is going to be undefeated at the end of the day. One of them is going to be picking up the first loss we both think it's going to be Excel. We will stay 3-0.
Yeah, I believe so. XL have done so well to get him pwned. That man, whenever XL are on the attack, whenever they're doing anything good, pwned is there at the heart of everything. Mm. However, with reason, they had a job last season and it was to lose to everyone. Whereas this it season, was. they seem to be beating everyone. They've brought in well as well. And Rick's Ronde with, with Tigri? Tigri? How are we going to say that? We should have I'm going to go with tig, tig, Tigri. We've got th three E's there. It's very, very... Tigri. That is a statement. It is a little bit. <laughs> I want him to get an edge ball just so you can keep the E as he goes along. I mean, if there's ever a time to extend that final syllable, yeah. go full Spanish commentary, it's going to be for Tigri. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for him and Rick Ronde and Burrito B, who has been one of the best like debutants of the mm -hmm. season, I would say. He's really one to watch. I think mechanically speaking, XL have obviously got the up on reason. If it becomes a battle of mechanics, XL are probably going to win this. What oh, yeah. reason can do, though, is get in their faces and not allow XL any time to play. And as soon as that happens, reason suddenly have a chance. And uh, there's what? Niels Gog just showing us where the camera is. Oh, is he's, that what that thing is? He's found the camera. He is he's clever. figured out where it is. They are smart, these gamers. He is, yeah. He's looked beyond the screen. <laughs> more He's talking through the audience. Of, more than can be said for most of the gamers, but we are just about to get into game one of our final series of the day. Excel against Reason. Two undefeated teams going at it. Who is going to emerge victorious? Yeah, we'll find out fairly early on in this first match who is going to be the first aggressor, where this ball is going to spend most of its time, whether it's in the XL half or the Reason Gaming half. If I'm a Reason Gaming player, I'm thinking let's start this game as strongly as we possibly can. We don't want to allow XL to get a foothold in the match because it becomes harder and harder to catch up when you're not the favoured team in that situation. But what sort of approach or excel going to have this game they know they're the favorites they mm -hmm. you know they know the reason gamer 2-0 but regardless of that fact they they know that they're the favorites to win this and we've seen teams in the elite series before they come into a series when they're the favorites and they start they start getting nervous they start to worry about losing that series and getting embarrassed getting upset by it. a team is all oh, but on earth does that degree should have put that on target for sure put excel behind instead we're still at a nil nil score Good bump by Niels. He's looking for another one. Gets it on the goal line. It looks like the counter attack's going to come in for a reason. Avoiding a dodgy, dodgy goal. Niels has got to be one to watch when he's creeping into the back line. Yeah, solid start here for reason. Um, I said, oh my find out. Really solid start. T. Gree with an unexpected goal there. He's just trying to knock this in for a pass or even help the ball along. <laughs> he hits this? it against the wall. I guess arguably it hits an awkward angle. Zenzis did not hey. read that at all. And next thing you know, 1-0 to Reason. That's a good touch by Tigri. Honestly, it looked Glad a bit weird. Credit. Yeah, it looks like, the first playthrough, it looked a bit random. It looked like a goal shouldn't be occurring, but we see second time around, he put it, pretty much put it as hard and uh, as accurately off the back, or the sidewall, I should say, mm. as he could. It would have been difficult to get a better touch. Look at that flick by Burrito V in the midfield. And it, it is going to be that passive stance from Excel as they start the game. Are they going to rely on, or hope rather, for mistakes to slip into Reason's game. Yeah, Reason look like they're starting off the main aggressors here. So we'll see, as you say, if XL sit back, soak up that pressure and hope for some counter-attacking goals. Because as Shogun mentioned earlier, when a team is on the offense and they're getting waves of three or four attacks, it's so simple to overcommit. So Reason gaming, while they're gonna be, want to be getting at this like a dog chasing oh. a car, they want to be, you know, want to get, want to be getting out the game, they don't want to overcommit against an XL team that will punish them. Oh, they are very, very good at the counter-attacks, RXL. Yes, absolutely. Particularly, look out for Zensas, the man who loves to make the runs upfield. Uh, and that's not to say the Pond and Niels Gok are not going to be scoring goals. These guys are all prolific strikers. Niels Gok several times up there battling with the top scorers in RLCS, the number one Chance. competition. That's an open net. Should have been a goal. Instead, it's gone way wide by Tigri, who, despite scoring the first goal, has looked a little bit off with his accuracy. Yeah, that was so disappointing. It was an open goal, and at this level, even though the ball was going across his car, you'd expect him to nail that 100% of the time. But Reason Gaming are still carving out opportunities, and this could be oh. enough for the and pits it over Niels Cook, but it doesn't quite go in, and Zenzus is able to very delicately air dribble that away. However, Burrito B was waiting for him as he had nowhere else to go and puts it forward but it comes to nothing. Reason Gaming showing a lot, Johnny, at this early stage. They're just not at all threatened by Excel's counter-attacking style. It's another forced save by Rick's Ronde this time. 
Yeah, Pwned having to do work in defense there twice, three times. If he can get to it, he can just well. That was awkward. He is boostless now. I don't know how his teammates are looking for boost, but it could have been trouble for XL there if the reason men were moving forward. We saw a long rotation back there from Burrito B. We warned them not to overcommit, and I like uh, Burrito B rotating back for boost there because that was a moment where you could see Reason thinking, right, we can score here. Let's let's commit, let's push men forward, and that's where XL would have their counter attack. So I'm not disappointed with Reason's rotations back there at all. Yeah, they're playing the scoreline as well as their opponents. As they're already in the lead, they don't need a goal technically, but that's a quick counter attack just bounces wide. Pond is the credit for the shot. Follow up twice, does get saved by the post and then by Tigri. Yeah, good aggression from him in defense there, Johnny. He didn't wait for the shot to come in and try and make the try and make the save from the goal line. He went and closed the angle down, and that made it much easier for him. Final minute of game one. We only gave Reason one game in our predictions. Yeah. I think that that is, uh, in my opinion, a pretty fair analysis with Excel just missing out on the RLCS Grand Finals LAN, which is going to be happening three weeks from now in Washington. We also didn't give Method a chance against Infuse, though, earlier. I know, and just don't listen to us. So basically, we're not very intelligent. Predictions are yeah. not very good today. Or uh, some other days, that's a huge whiff from Burrito B. It's not going to work out too badly at this level. Pl players on the opposing team are not expecting mm -hmm. whiffs like that, so nobody was able to capitalize. Final 30 seconds, that's another shot on Netrix Ronde. Party time for Reason Gaming. That's a very, very easy goal for Rix. A player of his caliber is not going to miss a lob like that. As Neil's caught way offline. Yeah, but it was a really nice find from his teammate. He saw oh, yeah. him waiting there, and the clearance wasn't just a big lump as far as they could go. He saw his teammate on the floor, and he's picked him out. And then the half volley was, as you say, absolutely precise. And now 2-0 with 20 seconds left, and it looks a lot, unless XL can do something very, very quickly, that Reason Gaming are going to take game one. Let's see if that happens now as Tigri punts the ball forward. This is where you want the big clears, just wasting time. If the ball is in that XL half, That's gonna be game. they've got no way of scoring. And game one, as soon as this ball lands, is going to go to Reason Gaming. 1-0 to Reason, Johnny boy. Wow, and Excel just did not look threatening. This is really, really strange to see. Five shots for Excel, six to Reason. Pretty close in terms of offensive chances. Mm -hmm. But it just didn't look very creative from Excel. Everything that they were shooting on net was easily saved uh, by reason. They're not getting caught out by this Excel lineup, which is so, con it's not what we're used to seeing from these guys. They are a very, very difficult team uh, to defend against when they're playing at their best. And people, Johnny, who were tuning into Rocket League for the first time, maybe seeing these, pl these teams for the first time, may be surprised to know that that result is an upset. Oh, reason absolutely. Gaming aren't predicted to win this at all. But that performance didn't show that in any way. This wasn't a smash and grab by any means. Reason Gaming were the better team throughout. Oh yeah, Excel. A lot of people would put Excel into the top five teams in Europe at the moment, alongside the four that made the LAN. Um, because they just missed out on that spot, losing to Mocket in the, in the final playoff. But they're still... Still a very, very uh, top team. Absolutely. Okay. So to, just to put things into perspective, how impressive was that performance from Reason by their standards? Oh, I mean, that's probably the best I've seen Reason play. They're against the toughest competition in the league, I think, so far, because we have yet to see Method with their completely full-strength roster. Yeah. They have uh, been playing Sniper in every single game, and he is a substitute. Uh, at least he's been playing well a very capable for the most part. But not their full roster, so, yeah, so if, Without the full-strength Method being here, Excel are on paper the next best team, and by quite some margin. Certainly, in terms of players who have played together, been able to build up that synergy over time, and Reason Gaming, despite being a newer roster, are piling on the pressure. Crossbar comes to the rescue. Burrito B is gonna rattle it once more. Sensors with the free jump. Mm. Three shots already in the first 10 seconds. Excel have got their work cut out for them here. Yeah, such an important block there from Zenzas. All three of, of the uh, XL Esports team were on the goal line and booster. So that was such oh, a good block. This ended up working out doubly well for them because they almost got the ever end of the score. Neil's may still do that. No, somehow, after 30 seconds, this game remains nil nil, but the pressure remains on the Reason Gaming goal. Shot oh, firing in. Tigri this time with a save off the line. And finally, Reason Gaming this time are able to get it away. Johnny, how is it still nil nil after 45 oh, seconds? Oh, it's another lob. This time gets saved by Rix. What is happening? Reason Gaming refused to let the ball cross their line. They've got no boost as well. How are they still defending so much? Oh, finally, Tigri comes in and slams it. You sometimes just need that 
boomer of a hard clear. Absolutely. To give your team some time to even drive around, pick up those charity boost pads. Even pads, yeah. Exactly. Smaller ones, but they're still under pressure. Excel are doing a good job. This is exactly what we expected from Excel from the get-go. They do not let off the pressure once it gets started. All of these touches are just putting the ball in positions where Reason have to use boost to deal with the threat. And then once the boost runs out, how do you deal with the threat? You can't. So that is what the moment they were waiting for. Will Excel be able to pressure for long enough that Reason will cave? Or can Reason get those hard clears, relieve that pressure? Yeah, Excel playing the backboard pretty strongly here. Oh. It almost finally works out for them. But no, again, the shots just keep coming in onto Back that pass. backboard. A man following up and Reason Gaming kept under pressure. However, if Reason Gaming can get a solid clear, they could end up getting a counter-attack goal. And what will that do for XL Psyche? Because they'll know that they should be scoring Good. this yeah. first goal in this game because they've been so dominant. But now, a chance oh. for Reason OB. It's going to be just one, but who's following up? It's Fritz Ronde. There's the yays from the crowd. 1-0 <laughs> to Reason Gaming after surviving an absolute onslaught. They have just come out of the war Yay. in front of their own net. And they've just scored with their first chance to the other end. They're taking chances when they get them. And that is the difference. We saw great offense from Reason in game one. Mm. They were causing problems for Excel. And we've seen phenomenal defense under pressure. The composure that was required there to just calculate their saves, make sure to a nice just play. get the ball away from the incoming attackers from Excel long enough that they were finally able to get the hard clear. A little bit of a starter there, but we're back into the yeah. smooth play. Zens has opened up, but he's completely whiffed it. It was only open momentarily as Rox Rondi was falling back down the ground, but Zens's connection was completely, it was just almost a whiff. May as well have been. It's worth pointing out, I think, that the way Reason are defending oh, is so impressive, mechanically speaking. Defending off the back ball, back oh, sorry, the back clear. ball, with very little boost, is one of the toughest skills to do consistently in the game of Rocket League. Throughout today's uh, matches, we've seen the ball hit the backboard and the defending players not be able to read it off the backboard in an offensive way. Reason are doing it every single time. And XL are finding that difficult to break through. Good save. Honestly, this goalkeeping, is so impressive from Reason. There again, he was low on boost and he's caught that perfectly. I feel like yeah. XL should oh. be looking to pass in field a bit more instead of relying on the backboard as much as they are. I cannot disagree with that. That's it, The backboard is not working because Reason are just just always there in the nick of time. As another goal, or shot comes in, Zen says, does get a solid hit this time and it's going to go in. Yeah, and as we were saying, Johnny, it was from a direct pass here. Instead of going for the backboard, the man is found and Zenzus is there. No use of the wall at all. And Reason found it much more difficult to save because the angles were so much harder to judge. And that, I believe, is how XL are going to get through this stubborn defensive performance from Reason. Yeah, Reason Gaming have had great answers for their, in terms of goal tending and back goal defense. They're doing a great job of going to the goal when they need to and going to the back wall when they need to. But are they going to step forward, intercept those passes? that XL might start to throw at them. This is cer certainly still, in my opinion, XL series to lose. A team with their experience and a team with their uh, just practice time playing together should be able to rally themselves from this Reason Gaming team who are showing up way better than anybody expected. As a team that came in 2-0, we are still not expecting them to be the favorites. They're stepping up even further and they already have this uh, Elite Series season. Yeah, each each week, Reason Gaming performed slightly better. Last uh, last season, we had Endpoint, who started off relatively weak and got better and better as the weeks went on. This season, it's looking like we've had Reason, who've started at a 7 out of 10, and they're only moving up from there. Yeah, we thought seven's pretty good. That's what I mean. <laughs> we started seven, and we're like, wow, Reason Gaming really showing up. Yeah. Last season, they were, at best, a 3 out of 10. Maybe, maybe a 2. Harsh. I, I mean, what else can you give them if they only win one series out of seven? But uh, they've just looked so clean. And this is three t uh, players who just, oh my god, they're ranked warriors. They're having to battle right now for every single touch, every single ounce of boost must be used so efficiently because Excel are playing a lot cleaner, a lot more aggressive. Look at that shot from Pondix from up high. Rattling the crossbar. This is a big chance of the bomb What's coming the in bomb? on Greedo. That is huge. And they're gonna get a counter-attack, but this time Tigri is ready. Still, the ball is in the air. Zero seconds approaching. It should ground, but nope. Zensus keeps it up. Niels is gonna keep it up as well. Zensus again to Pondix. 
Ball still in the Great block from Burrito B there, Johnny. Just that little like XL, we're gonna do something after zero seconds. Of course, the game doesn't end until the ball hits the floor. But we're gonna go into overtime now in game two. Next goal wins. And if XL don't win this, they're gonna have a long way back. Even though on a game-by-game yeah. game basis, it looks like they're dominating. Just because simply because Reason's defense is so so good. I mean, Reason, you can't possibly go into a game and expect yourselves to make these saves. These saves have been so nutty. It's a big ask. Their back wall clears continue to be impressive. They're just getting it far enough, but that's a huge dunk from Pondix. Just blocking that clear before it even started. Redirect from Rix. Oh. Zensas was there. That could have been the chance that they needed. It was on target from Rix, but it wasn't powerful. Oh, However, chance. balls up for him, and Rix, Ronde just can't put that ball in the net. They have to be made. Oh, he's These not up. This could be it. But no, Tigri, who clearly been, he's clearly primed for defense as he was so far back there. Reason have to be careful. They don't sit too far back when they are on the attack, or else they're not going to score. Finally, Reason are getting a bit of consistent pressure here. We've not seen this in the entire game thus far. It's been all Excel pressuring Reason into their half, despite the one-all score. It's a big chance. Finally, Reason starting to gain some territory. Now they're controlling the mid-boost, so they've got more time to decide what to do with the ball. Neil's not with a lucky shot or challenge there rather not much is going to materialize this time reason need to find the new avenue of attack yeah we'll see what reason can do to mix things up. they're Holy trying to do what xl were doing earlier which is big hits onto the backboard we'll see if reason can get Wait, on the field where's the defense for tigre he oh. missed it tigre with the chance he needed one minute and 35 seconds into overtime oh, and he could have been at home and now xl on the counter but rick's ronde is there Reason Gaming, take your chances when they come because they're not going to come too often against XL. Wow, Tigree almost finding that tight angle. There were goalkeepers rushing in. He was trying to slot it in just in the gap between goalies and the post. Oh my goodness. Cutting it close, Ricks, with the almost own goal. This is starting to open up, Johnny. A goal's coming soon. I can feel it. All right, so I can feel it. Curse. We're probably a five minute overtime now. I'm enjoying it. I don't mind if it's five more minutes. Oh, yeah, this is a good imagine. series. Reason continuing to contest just when they need to. They're hanging on in defense. Getting good 50-50s. <sighs> They're following each other's challenges up exceptionally well. They're hardly ever sending one person and then not backing them up. There's always somebody else ready to move it. But this is an uncontested aerial. It looks like Tigri beats Niels to it. But dunk from Bundix straight down. Is anybody there? What Who's a they? block from Tigri. That is such a hard Oh, double dunk from Zed says he misses. How has nobody scored yet? So much is happening. Every time there's an opportunity, you can hear the crowd go, oh, and ah, just because you're thinking, how has there not been a goal yet? Both teams have had golden opportunities. Oh! Reason, finally! Tigree with a dunk! The ball comes off the backboard. Tigree reads it best, goes into the 50-50 against a Pope. Oh, that's huge. And it's pinched over Niels Cook, and it's 2-0 to Reason Gaming. Calculated finish. You could see Tigri without his opponent making that challenge. He was just going to be toe poking the ball into the post. Mm. And he knew that. But he also calculated the approach of his opponent. He timed his hit perfectly, forcing the own goal. Almost. I mean, it was just as much his goal as it was an own goal. 50 50, ending up in the opponent's net at speed. Forcing a pinch, that's such a calculated hit by Tigri. 2-0. They've already got a point out of the series. You get at least a point for two games in a best of three. But they'll want the full three, upsetting Excel with a 3-0 perhaps. You um, never know. What I will say as well, after a few chances had been missed by Reason, the composure from Tigri to still be in that forward position to get the 50-50 opportunity is really, really commendable. We saw it here. Reason almost went ahead straight at the beginning, but some decent defending from Excel and it didn't quite happen. But then for the this next three or four minutes, it was the reason defense show. Oh save God. after save, clearance after clearance, like chance after chance for XL. And reason would always just have that second man there. The second man was never an XL player. The second man was always a reason player. They were doing such a good job of not double committing. I, I'm looking through all of these replays and so, so rarely do we see reason gaming sending two people to the ball at once. Mm. And how difficult is it to have that composure when all three of your team yeah. are within about a five yard radius? They're all so close, they're all in the net at the same time. Somebody's in the back wall, somebody else on the ground, and they're still managing to send one person to the ball and then following up with the team that look how happy they are that win and right for the ball. They've absolutely earned that. They're caught a win. Well. You talked about composure, it's also communication. To be able to avoid double committing when shots are flying in at that speed, their comms have to be spot 
on. If one person fails to call and two people go, then suddenly XL are going to get an open goal. A hundred times mm. out of a hundred. They have to be so careful. They, it must be exhausting. Oh my goodness. To be able to, to have to concentrate on your mechanics to that extent while having to communicate to that extent for the amount of time that XL forced them to defend for in that match. And manage your boost. Make sure not to boost starve your teammates. They were yeah. in their half for so long playing yeah. such a low economy game in terms of boost but they still just had enough. There's so many times where there's somebody going up for a save with about 12 boosts mm. at the most yeah. for a reason, but they hit the ball straight into their own crossbar or into their own post, and they, it's ricocheting out, and they're getting there in time for the follow-up. There was Second ball call. There was one moment where, um, I think it was Pwned, he, he pushed the ball against the backboard so that it rolled straight down. Yeah. And that's such a tough skill, especially, as you say, with, with very little boost. And instead of just watching the ball come over him, the Reason player met it so quickly mm. as it came down, which is such a difficult skill to achieve, but they make it look yeah. so easy, Reason. And also what I'll say is that Reason have won two different games in two different ways. Game one, they were the better team overall. They had a lot of the play. They had a lot of the pressure for themselves. Game two, it was backs against the wall. So now Axel, no, Axel are thinking <laughs> like, we've been dominated do? and we've dominated yeah. and we've lost both. What can we change? For Axel, their one goal that they did score and it was the, the exact strategy that you identified um, midway through game two is that infield pass. And mm -hmm. They need to be careful. It looks like it's their, their best way of setting or the most reliable way of creating a chance. But we saw uh, earlier today just how dangerous it can be if you're relying heavily on that and the other team starts to get the interception because suddenly you're, you're taking two people out of the game. You're you doing force that. a 2v1 or a 3v1. And also in Rocket League, uh, a cross-field pass for your teammate is also a cross-field pass for your opponents. Indeed. Yeah. You know, if, if, uh, if your opponent's the first one meeting it, then they're going to get an open goal if you've overcommitted. Good defensive demo by Niels. Maybe yeah. taking out a player who might have been looking for a demo himself. Great pass there from me. I was going to Pwned who can't quite read it. I prefer, I much like, I like that a lot more though. Looking for Pwned with that hit instead of necessarily going for the backboard. Another thing that the infield pass is doing, uh, that reason of finding tough, the reason of finding it tough to deal with, is that it's changing the angle. If you put a big hit onto the backboard, the reason gaming players have clearly practiced these for just hours on end, and they know how to read them. As soon as you pass to your teammate, they can manipulate the angle into whichever direction you want. So Reason's positioning is suddenly not as solid. I, I really want to see a mind game at some point from Excel. They're, I think, playing it a little bit too predictably at times. They are passing to each other, but they're almost dictating very, very obvious or very clearly the boost. where they're going to pass the ball before they indeed do. And Reason are following every move that he has made that is almost going to roll in. Excel need to be so careful not to desert their goal. Not to get frustrated too early. Well. That's a free shot for Rix. He's locked what in. Look at the fight. The back finish, the Johnny. Oh Talk us through God. that finish. Talk us through the mechanics here. Rix Ronde. He sees the free ball. Look at the upside down air roll. Wow. Uh, he's lobbed it over the first defender. Got it underneath the second. Reason Gaming 1 0. They're looking to sweep Excel in the final game of the day. This is unprecedented, but that's a phenomenal shot by Fondix to answer. We've seen two types of finishes in this match. We've seen the incredible technical finish, the loop over the top, and we've seen Pone say, yeah. hit the ball hard, hit it into the corner. Ah, Reason Gaming, the good old cheat with one player and go for boost with the other, they leave their net wide open. I'm not a fan of that kickoff strategy at all. Well, three minutes and 10 seconds left, and it's on his even, one goal apiece. But Reason, I think, will be happy with how this game has gone so far. They, won't, they wouldn't have wanted another game like the last one in this third match. They'd have wanted a bit more chance to, uh, st to stamp their authority on the match. And so far, they're having it. Although they conceded straight off the kickoff, um, they earned that first goal. They weren't under the cosh, I wouldn't say. And it is a very, very quiet series for Niels Gok so far, the player who recently has been the standout for Excel. Even last season, the one player who was shining brightest despite their losses, he tends not to show up so much in series where Excel are behind though, and this is a problem, a recurring problem for them. So they'll be looking for Niels to step up, start that to play a bit more aggressively perhaps than he is uh, currently doing. Pwned Exo, on the other hand, he is a man who can take, the game by a take a game by the scruff of the neck and turn a loss into a win. So keep an eye on him as he starts it's to clear. as he starts to warm up and try out some more uh, some more deft touches that he's so good at, those ceiling hits that he finds so easy to do. And we'll see how Reason get on with them. For now though, it's gonna be a 50-50 which Pwned X wins, but it's only gonna come to Tigre. 
Gaining locks it forward for Burrito B. Puts that in field. Tigre is there. There's really good pressure from Reason Gaining in this attack. They were second to every ball there, but a miss from Burrito B in midair. Leaves Neil Cook in. He doesn't have the boost, does he, to put that into the center? Not quite, but it's worked out all right. As Pone almost gets one of those ceiling hits I was talking about, but it doesn't quite work out for him. It's another win in the midfield by Reason. A lot is breaking down for Excel very early, and tactical whiffs perhaps for Reason Gaming as they just leave the ball to roll through to defense. Intentionally or not, they are catching Excel off guard more than Excel are catching them off guard. Mm. And at the end of the day, that is how you win Rocket League. You surprise your opponents. You do something they didn't expect, even if you have to just brute force it. It still counts as an outplay. That's good defense by Burrito. And he gets the follow-up challenge. Not a good 50-50 though. The ball does roll wide thanks to his left dodge not taking him through the ball. Some people call it luck, but it's calculated. Oh, that's another huge yeah. chance. But the good follow-up challenge, that second ball, yes. is always being contested by Reason. Yeah, absolutely. After the first whiff, it whiff, it really looked like they were in trouble. But they had the composure to regain their positioning and still not double commit. Mm. There was still no double commit. That's normally the time it happens. When one player misses, oh, the huge chance. Goes oh, low, that is smart. There was, your, there was your mind game. Back to the pre-jump, and there's another one. That is Reason Gaming are playing tricky at the end of the game. Trying to predict pre-jumps, this is a big chance for Ponix. He's drilled it way wide, his shots are not looking clean. No, they're not, which is very, very unlike him. Burrito B, off for an edge, will put it against the backboard. Who's going to win the win? Oh. The backboard win! It's going to be a Reason player, but Ponex did enough oh, to get it away. He does well, actually. I thought Niels was going to whiff that, but he landed on the back wall to control of the ball rather than half volleying it. But they're still under pressure. This is an aerial no coming way. in from Rex Ronde. 12 seconds Whoa. left. And the ball comes over the top from Burrito B. And the man to react, as it has been throughout this series, was Rex Ronde for Reason Gaming. And unless XL Esports can get an equalizer in the next 12 seconds, they're going to succumb to a 3-0 defeat to Reason, Johnny Boy. This happening, the final 10 seconds. Reason Gaming with one of the biggest upsets in the Elite Series history. Absolutely. The ball just needs to touch the ground for Reason. Can Excel bring it back? This is going to be a tough one. And it grounds! GG's. Reason Gaming sweep Excel. What a performance from Reason Gaming against an XL that are flying so high, not just in the Gfinity Elite Series, but in the RLCS. At the very highest level of Rocket League, XL are performing well. But they couldn't beat Reason. In the first game, Reason were the better team. In the second game, Reason defended so well. And that was the one where XL dominated. And then in the third one, I'd say Reason performed better overall again. <laughs> The, it's a good old park the bus strategy in game in two. In game the two, most Mourinho would have play. been honoured to have managed that match. It's so frustrating to play against a team who just park the bus on the goal line. Uh -huh. You can't get it past because the bus is just too big. But XL have got no excuses. <laughs> Apart from that second game, it's not like Reason were like wow. that in games one, two, and three. The other games, they just performed so well. They outpassed them. Their backboard reads, their backboard reads were better than XL's. It's true. They were just they were playing a, a little bit faster than Excel, I think. Pondix not making clean shots like we used to see. I mean, usually seeing 100 plus kilometer an hour shots mm -hmm. into the top corner, not unusual uh, from Pondix. Let's but have we a look at these goals. Any of those today, unfortunately. So in the third and final game, Reason almost took the lead, and then oh, this finish from Rix Ronde oh, is no, so Neil, clever. Neil's he knew no exactly boost. what he wanted to do there. Still, that kickoff goal. Reasons probably that's probably their biggest mistake of the entire game. Yeah, just leaving their net open on kickoff there. But who who cares when you're gonna just read the backboard like this? Rick Ronde, what confidence! Twelve seconds left as well, Johnny. It's not any Clutch. skill at all. And they would have known that. They would have known 100% that that shot could be the game-winning shot. And Rick drains it. Just brilliant stuff from the underdogs. Reason Love are a team directions. who, no matter what their expectations are they'll somehow find a way to win. I never know how they do it. They did it last yeah. season as well um, in their victory against Endpoint. They showed a little bit of what they were capable of in yes. the last season. Come on. And then this season, it. they're just beating all that's put in front of them at the moment. They're just loving it. And this is the exact thing that we want to see from these teams at the GFINI Elite Series. We want to see teams getting hypey on stage. And we're hoping to get a bit of that right now with Ariel on stage with the winning team. I am, and they're practicing the celebratory moves. What's the moves? 3-0. That's all they want to say, 3-0. Uh, Johnny said it before, like, XL are one of the best teams here in the series, and you've just completely smashed that. 
through. So what are we? <laughs> um, obviously, an amazing victory for you guys. Really short and sweet, but you just, yeah. I mean, how are you feeling after that? Uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like so? It's so good. Like. And is this it for a reason now? We're going to see you like, go uphill from now on? I mean, can we even go even higher than this? Ah! <laughs> like the confidence is radiating and um, why has it all come together for you guys are you working well are you working better as a team together we're practicing quite a lot but uh, yeah it's just working out I don't know what it is team chemistry on point and yeah um, fourth man here in the corner is uh, uh, someone saying to me it's been proved since you came along do you agree with that <laughs> uh, they've, they've been performing well since before I even started standing behind and doing absolutely nothing so they're a pretty good team <laughs> <laughs> so yeah what are you talking about you're getting your moment on camera do the, do the celebratory dance come on come on it's fine but um, uphill from here? Of course, yeah. Um, the sky's the limit, of course, now. So just got to keep going on, keep practicing, not, not mess it up now. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. You can celebrate now for the rest of the afternoon. Come back to you, Tom. Thank you very much, Ariel. Um, yes. Um, I mean, who do you credit that victory for reason two? Shogun, I think you've got your answers, haven't you? Uh, I actually have one person I really want to point out here, and that is Duck Mariotti himself, the coach that was behind them. Yes, he doesn't offer much in terms of game knowledge from what I've seen. He's not there telling them how to play, but there's a very important moment in that series, and that is when we saw the star step goal from the servers which really could have put them back down because Excel, that was their levelling goal. And as a player, it's very easy just to go, OK, well, that's just how it is. But instead, you've got that guy behind you that says, no, OK, you've been on defence for ages. That's just happened to us. Wake up now. It's time for us to actually start playing. Whilst you look at Excel, and we saw it from the pictures in between the games, there was, no, yeah, there was no one there to pick them back up, and there's no one there on that team that's the in-game leader. I genuinely believe he had a massive difference in that series. Indeed. Uh, what about yourself, Greg? And who did you notice in terms of their performance? I mean, what a goal that was from Rick's Ronde. The, the, the car turned upside down. What, I mean, talk us through that goal. It was epic. So the reason why Reason was so dangerous is they constantly pressured the ball. They were constantly looking to block touches, constantly looking to challenge. And the reason why Rick's Ronde scored some nasty goals, which you weren't expecting, is because he just predicted the situation and expected to score it. And because of that, when it did work out, he got some really nice angles on it. And that Tigre shot, I think that was meant to be a pass. I don't think anyone looks to shoot from that angle, but you're always looking to put pressure on the net. What, it, it, you can't, but hey, come on though, it happens in football as well. You try and sometimes score from a corner. Yep. It happens. Yeah, it, it, it was meant to be pressure and it went into a goal. And like, he won't complain, but the, just the constant onslaught of putting it towards the middle, looking to try and get those backboard reads, really keeping pressure on the ball, meant they got a lot of goals, which caught Excel off guard. Well, Excel, they just didn't look confident at all in defence. They spent so much time forward, then when it was finally time for them to go back, they were chasing pretty much all the time. It was almost as if they needed to get the ball out as quickly as they possibly could, when they could have just settled down that little bit more, allowed the ball to be played around them, but instead they just let Reason Gaming almost pull them around like puppets. And, and, and this is not a, a, an understrength side. This is a solid team that is doing well in the RLCS. Can you explain a bit for anyone who's new to that, what's going on and why this is such an upset? Well, XL in the RLCS were performed incredibly well. The only teams they lost out to were the four teams above them. Yes. So if you imagine that, they're essentially fifth in the world. You could, oh, fifth in Europe, sorry. You could say that. Then to come here, reason aren't even in the RLRS, which is the top 16 of Europe. They've been rising up since the RLCS and RLS formed. So they're one of those teams that we don't really know where they stand. Mm. And the fact they've come in here and proven that they can beat a team like XL, yeah. that's huge for them, not just for the result in the Elite Series, but to prove to the rest of the European region they're here. It's, it's a giant killing, but hopefully three wins in a row. We don't know what's going to happen for the rest of Elite Series Season 2. But if they continue to perform, this could be, if they can stick as a three, they could potentially get into that top 16 and then go into Europe. Could they not, Shogun? Absolutely. I mean, you heard them say it. The sky's the limit right now. And quite frankly, I'm very interested to see where that goes. Um, when we see them play next week, obviously, it's going to become more and more difficult every single time around. The only major test that we have left for them now is if they were to go against a full-strength method. Exactly. Because that's the only one that's more difficult than XL, in my opinion. For the rest of the season, it's going to be basically, OK, so you've shown us how good you are. How consistent can you be? Mm. Okay, gentlemen, I know that Ariel enjoyed watching that one. Uh, she is currently somewhere in the auditorium. She's in amongst loads of players. What are they saying, Ariel? I'm fitting into this lineup quite well, I think. I think, I know, where's the hat? Can I just get the hat? There we go. This is fine. See, Rocket League player right there. Okay, Agnes, speak to me. You guys played earlier. You absolutely smashed it. Do you now see reason as a threat to be reckoned with? I do not. You don't? Not even after that performance? They're, they're good, but... Easy breezy for you guys. We're, we're good too. 
<laughs> but they've, <laughs> they've obviously progressed since season one. Um, uh, why do you think? Why do you think that? Where do you think that's come from? I think it's just finding the right players that fit in with you, and it, it works. Rick's found two players that work with him. Okay, because I um, I think that might be a dig at something. Eh? Uh, I ignite. No? Okay, well, let's talk about prophecies line up now, because it's yourself. Seba Dam's not here. And Mummy's not here on my right hand side. You had quite an easy, breezy game earlier, no? Yeah, it was pretty easy. I know, it's just talking about lineup changes there. It's obviously working for you guys in Team Prophecy. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Do you think that has now happened for reason? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Content. Content. Great, great content, guys. So, I mean, have they, have you guys been putting the work in uh, behind the scenes like Reason have? We could do better. We could do better. <laughs> right. I'm going to go back to Tom now because, as you can see, Tom, they're full of conversation. Basically, they're just milking the fact that they've all just won and don't want me to be part of the Rocket League lineup. It's fine. Yeah. No, no biggie. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it, Tom. Uh, totally yeah. fine. Do you know what, Ariel? You don't look fine about it. Uh, <laughs> but do you know what? The players have done exactly what I asked them to do via email. So thank you very much, guys. You made it uh, life a bit difficult. What I loved about Iron Knight, it looked like he had a fidget spinner, but with his mobile phone. Uh, great skills, uh, Iron Knight, twisting that phone. He, he did not look comfortable there. Listen, um, if you are just joining us, uh, there is. He's fidgety spinning again. Um, listen, uh, if, if you are just joining us now, you missed the three earlier matches. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, give you a little recap of what happened today. Starting off with our first match. Mummy Snow will carry it into the net. Flores takes the pass from Data. He will take advantage. Prophecy two and one up. Data, the opening goal, beautiful shot off. And Prophecy will take the win. Oh, that's more like it. Game one. One nil method. Rebound from Doomsy. This shouldn't be happening. Oh, yeah. Royal Dan Chisel, he's got the goal. The 2 1 to Method. Method have shown up and they've taken down and fused. 2 1 endpoint. Oh, Cheerio! Five seconds remaining. Endpoint, get the 3 0 sweep over Team Envious. So there you have it then. Uh, week three. That is how it looks with all the matches today. We've had four cracking matches. Reason Gaming, top of the table with nine points. Prophecy, Excel, Method. Uh, th th well, just, you know, playing incredibly well. But uh, th right at the bottom, Team Infuse. I can't get over that, really. Right at the bottom, after they were so successful in season one. I suppose it just goes to show, you lose two of your yeah, solid starters. Um, you're leaving poor Doomsy all to himself. But now he's got... Uh, Dan Hizzle and, and Radio to join him and hopefully they will begin to play better as a three. Um, can you see them? Is there still a possibility they can get into that playoffs, gentlemen? Uh, playing like that? No. <laughs> but I'm hoping that we're going to see some differences over the next few. I mean, they have no choice at this point in time. Got change. It, it has a lot to change. Um, can they do it? That's going to be up to them. But right now, I mean, even if we look back to last season, I believe they lost their very last game in league play as well. Did, that's yeah. five games in a row now in the Gfinity Elite Series that they've now lost. They've, that, that's bouncing off a six-game win streak. So I believe it's time for us to switch the gears. Mm. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching back Prophecy versus Epsilon. But I tell you what, let's look at the results from today. Um, and, and it just goes to show, you know, some of those teams, no one getting that extra point. So if you are going to lose in the Elite Series, you best to lose by 3-2. And agonizing as it is, you still get that extra point, which could prove vital as the tournament goes on. Yeah, we just saw in the leaderboard, Endpoint, the only team that is not on a multiple of three. That means they got that one point. Uh, going to a game five, and that could be huge for them in the future, because if only one team has one point, it's equivalent to having three points, because uh, you'll get that slight edge over another team of equal wins. So, M point in a great position for that sake, but they did get that vital win today, putting them in the running to go into the top four. And indeed, and Prophecy were looking incredibly strong. We'll see some of the highlights of that match, but they are looking very good, aren't they? They are indeed. I mean, we just heard how incredibly engaging <laughs> Mummy Snow and I Ignite are. Uh, a lot better Rocket League players than they are talkers, but they're, they're fully aware of that. That's fine. Sometimes they need a boost, uh, you know, conversationally. Nice. You know? Oh. Uh, no, no, I haven't. No, I'm going to get that. Ariel, I can hear her laughing. She's happy with Ariel's that. just happy that someone's talking, <laughs> quite frankly. But this was a great series from Prophecy. Like you said, they talk much better with their cars than they do with their mouths. 
And for, quite frankly, they can sing when they get that ball when it's on their own side. I want to see more and more of this because they are one of the top contenders for this season. And like I said, with most of these teams now, it's about consistency because there are some monsters lurking and I still want to see the full method squad. And if you want to try and get wins over that squad, if they do eventually end up turning up, you need to be playing like this. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, I, and I thoroughly do enjoy watching Monsters, Inc. Uh, there is uh, the boys there, Epson, who need to start getting that, that synergy and, and working and consistency in, into their game. And maybe, as I've been told, you know, Flaki and, and the likes of Data need to start perf performing in front of a live audience. You called them live eyes uh, earlier on in the day, didn't did you? Did I? You did call them live eyes. That's good yeah. memory, Tom, you have there. That's... No worries. Well, it started at tennis, uh, but I uh, still got it. Uh, we move on to our next match, which was Infused versus Method. Um, mm -hmm. Who stood out for you in, in that contest today? Bipod. Uh, he surprised yeah. me. Oldest player in the competition at 26. A lot of experience, and he likes to think through everything he does, and it really showed he was... Uh, Positioning himself very well on the field, which allowed him to intercept a lot of touches. And that was where Method really stood out. Uh, but it was a close game. And I think that's uh, something fair to say about all the matches today. Even though the score lines were dominant, all of the individual games themselves were pretty close today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Tom, you were talking about Mo uh, Monsters, Inc. Method took Infused to Monsters University and oh, he scored them in this series. this series. I know, I've got my, I've got my puns on point, considering <laughs> you two were just going off on them earlier on. <laughs> but this was a really impressive series from Method with the B team as well. All of those players making shouts of, maybe not necessarily becoming the A squad for Method, but definitely shouts of, look, Maybe someone else might want us and we can go and really step up Indeed. elsewhere. Yeah, and it's scary when your B-side is, is defeating the A-team of Team Infuse. That means, you know, definitely for Elite Series 3, you've got some signings, like maybe even Bipod if he learns how to defend or, or, or score or shoot or whatever he needs to do. But, you know, they've got that solid victory today and, um, you know, it's nice. It's nice to be able to say to the head team of Method, guys, um, whenever you want to pick us, we're, we're ready. Yeah. They're going to need them because RLCS uh, finals is on the weekend of the 12th and they'll need to come in and cover for them there. And I think that B team, their main job is to get them into the playoffs and that's when they bring in the big guns to win it all. Okay, listen, um, end point. The reigning champions, we, we, we loved them uh, from season one. They were taking on uh, Envious, uh, and, and it, was, it was all to do for end point. They needed to get that first win, but they've managed it now. Crossbar OP. Yes. Throughout this entire series, it was absolutely insane. But this was a very close one overall. Endpoint, though, showing off some of their veteran instincts, showing what made them last season's champions, and picking up a crucial win because they were so close to being in a position Infused is in right now of just completely underperforming, losing their first three series in a row. And we have said that they're late bloomers, but that's giving yourself way too much work to do. Well, maybe in time for the Chelsea Flower Show for next uh, year. Um, <laughs> Greg, what, what do you reckon for the play of Endpoint? Can they get back to winning ways? Can we see them as uh, title challengers again? Well, season one, they improved as the season went on. And then during the off season, they had a bit of a break, didn't practice as much as they were before, lost a bit of motivation. But then coming back here, they enjoy the weekend so much that they're now motivated as ever to try and win. Yeah, indeed. And I just looking at Tinny's smile, it just it just warms your cockles, doesn't it? It oh, really it does. does warm your cockles. Lovely uh, chap. Uh, genuinely, I have to say, some of the nicest uh, lads to have around in the Gfinity arena. Um, is it is it as you'd expected it? That, that, that at the moment, the, the the table, when you look at it again, that current standings, three weeks in. No. They're shaking no. their heads. I just <laughs> no. want everybody, wherever you are around the world yeah. right now, they're shaking their heads. It's uh, We're not great at this whole talking whilst graphics are on thing, Greg, Greg and, but this is a very, it's almost like a reverse of what we saw last season. We've switched around Reason Gaming and Infused, both of them now looking at opposite ends of the table. Well, blimey, it is. There's a, there's a couple of consistencies there, but right now, this is entirely different. If you came into this season having saw what you did see last season, you would not be expecting any of this. No. And, and Reason, I mean, with their coach, can you possibly expect next week for week four here at the Gfinity Arena uh, a couple of coaches uh, standing behind the players you don't just need to a give coach. them motivation? You just need a man to shout at you or anyone. <laughs> so, uh, can point, it be a woman as well, Greg? It, it could be a kid. It could be a newborn <laughs> baby as long as they can shout. <laughs> okay. Endpoint had someone behind them. They won today. I think that's the key. Get someone shouting at you. And this is actually a really new thing for Rocket League, though. It it's, is. We don't see this anywhere right now and honestly seeing the results it gave and seeing the possible psychological benefits it can have I have to say I want to see more of it because we do see it 
in other esports, such as CSGO, which we will be showing later on today. So make sure you're around for that. See, I got my plugs in right there, Tom. Yeah. But <laughs> maybe this is something Sorry, I was using a European, European pin. It won't fit in my the plug socket over here. It's oh. not a three pin, it's a two pin. But no, I, I'm still with you, Shogun. Sorry, I, I stopped your trail of thought there. You did. There we go. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I can do at the end of a glorious Rocket Day. Uh, if you had to pick one player that stood out today uh, for you, uh, Shogun, who's that one player that stood out today? Uh, Tom Deacon. Okay, thank you. You know what? You are so nice. <laughs> so nice. Now, which one of the players uh, from the eight teams in the Elite Series has stood out for you today? <laughs> He's going to go through it. I'm not going to have that. Luxury. Well, this is the notepad. This is what happens. That one player that could go through next week, maybe Rick, from the last game we just. Rick Ronde. Yes, you're going to Rick Ronde. Thanks, Ronde. Okay. Well, listen, gentlemen, uh, it's a pleasure, as always, every single Saturday from 10 a.m. Uh, till 2 p.m. Watch the live fixtures that we have. I will hopefully see you next week, Shogun. A pleasure. Greg, and always a pleasure oh, with you, it, sir. Um, and to everybody who's been watching another week of Rocket League and what have we learned? Well, you can definitely believe in prophecy. Infuse look diffused in season two. Endpoints say cheerio to their early season struggles. And last season's bottom place team now have three reasons to be cheerful. Having won in weeks one, two, and three. See you next week for more Rocket League. Bye for now. Beautiful shot off. And Prophecy will take the win. This shouldn't be happening. Method have shown up and have taken down Infused. Endpoint, get the 3-0 sweep over Team Envious. Agree with an unexpected goal, mate. There's another goal for Shotguns and Zensas. Oh! Reason Fighting! Reason Gaming with one of the biggest upsets in the Elite Series history.